Uh, when I got into magic, it kind of related to cartoons in a way. So I wrote this to try to really push that on. I wanted to live my life like a cartoon. Think about it. Me, a little sob story that had the imagination to escape reality. And then eventually, wanting to escape that reality, I put myself into a cartoon. I digitalized myself. So in my mind, I lived within a cartoon. Just in my mind. See, I manipulated my body to do all kinds of things, pulling out anvils and taking out rifles. See, I, I loved the manipulation aspect of the cartoons. I was an artist, and I wanted to really pull <coughs> something off, escape reality in reality. So I thought to myself, if cartoons manipulate reality to cause excitement, then magicians who've been reality should be able to do the same thing, right? Yeah. There was one thing that I loved. The manipulation of the body that caused the little black hole to come out. If you watch Looney Tunes, you know what I'm talking about. Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the one that hits the ground as the villain runs towards you, and you're, you're sitting there like, run into my trap and face your doom. It is the end. They run over it, and it seems like it has a misleading gravitational pull because they sit there hovering for a second before they realize they're over it, and then the gravitational pull pulls them down. It was my favorite thing, and the concept was interesting to me. So I thought to myself, let's see if I can pull that same thing off. I mean, I couldn't make it even fall to the ground, sadly, but I, I tried something. Sadly. 